a ship is traveling as south, 69 degrees east bearing, and travels a distance of 130 miles. Now, the question is, how far in the southerly direction did it travel, and also how far in the easterly directions that it travels. So let's draw a set of coordinate axes. This is north, south, east, and west. So when you say south, 69 degrees east, that means 69 degrees from the, the south axis. So we'll draw that here. And this distance is 130 miles. Uh, the angle here is 69 degrees. Uh, so to find out how far south and east they traveled, uh, you drop perpendiculars to the south axis and perpendicular to the east axis. So remember in trigonometry, the cosine of the angle, 69 degrees, is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, okay? So the adjacent side is this side here. This, is, this of course, is the hypotenuse. And the sine of 69 degrees is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Now, the side opposite the uh, 69 degree angle is this here. Of course, as I already mentioned, this is the uh, hypotenuse. So let's go over here and uh, we say cosine of 69 degrees, I looked it up on my calculator, is 0 0.358. And that is equal to the adjacent side divided by 130 miles. And the sign is um, 0 0.934, which is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So all we have to do here now is to um, solve this one for the adjacent side and this equation for the opposite side. So adjacent side, which of course is the southerly direction, is equal to 0 0.358 times 130. And the opposite side is the easterly direction. And that is equal to 0 0.934 times the hypotenuse, which is also 130 miles. <clears throat> so just if you carry that out, you'll find, I, I didn't do the calculation, you could do that. But uh, the, the number you come up with in each case, one will be how far south it traveled, and the other will be how far east it traveled. Thank you.